the firefighters scrambled. 12 News reporter Kelsey Johnson has been out there all afternoon and she's live in Sabine Pass with the latest. Now, no one was physically hurt in this fire, but some are suffering with emotional scars and wondering what's next. Ed and Deborah Lloyd live next door. Their home suffered major damage because the fire ended up spreading to their home. They're, they both tell me that they're still in shock, but thankful to be alive. Now, fire crews spent the afternoon combing through the ashes to determine a cause. The only, the only things left standing at the home on Tremont Street here in Sabine Pass are the stilts and a white cross. That cross nearly untouched at the front of where this home used to be. Port Arthur firefighters rushed here after reports of a house explosion. When they arrived, the home was fully engulfed and the fire was spreading next door. It's where the Lloyds live. Deborah tells me she rushed to get out. Her husband, Ed, is on oxygen and she says she had to make sure he got to safety. And right across the street is Sabine Pass ISD. Fortunately, the school wasn't damaged. Luckily, it was uh, spring break. Uh, I, half, I forgot it was spring break. I half expected to pull up here and see little faces pressed against all the windows. Deputy Chief Robert Havens tells me the wind caused a lot of issues while they were battling this fire. It's the reason the fire spread to the home next door. Chief Havens says fire investigators are working to determine a cause. They say it could be a while before they're able to pinpoint how this happened. Deborah Lloyd tells me that there's been a lot of people asking how that they can help. They are planning to set up an account tomorrow at uh, Natchez Federal Credit Union off Highway 365. Live in Sabine Pass, Kelsey Johnson, 12 News.